Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Len Shildroff of East Lake in Hopkins, Michigan. Today is Friday, August the 12th. Current temperature is 75 degrees. The high today will be 86. 86 degrees, the low tonight will be 68. There's abundant sunshine, says the weatherman this morning. And the winds are five to 10 miles per hour, five to 10 miles per hour. Uh, we're gonna continue our study in the Gospel of Luke. We're gonna talk about loving our enemies which is quite a challenging thing to do. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying this world is not my home. good prayer to pray every day just ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill your life you know <clears throat> we're not going to be able to live the Christian life we cannot live the Christian life without the Holy Spirit uh, we're never going to love our enemies be kind and forgiving the way that God wants us to be unless we allow the Holy Spirit to come invite him to come and fill our lives
Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill my, fill my, fall fresh on me. Fill me with your power. Satisfy my needs. Only you can make me whole. Give me strength and make me grow. Come, Holy Spirit, fall afresh on me. I'm just going to read a passage. I'm not sure that. I have to say a lot of things. These are Jesus' words. Um, we need to let these words sink into our hearts. It's about love. You see, there's three kinds of love that I know about. Uh, one is brotherly love, Adelphos. It's it's about It's about loving our brothers because they love us back. It's friendship love. And we have that kind of love in our life. Um, there's eros, which is sexual love. I think it's a lot more than just physical. But that's the kind of love that we have. We show love through, through sexual expression. And the third kind of love is called agape love. And agape love is love of the will. It's a love of choice. Because God has come into our life, he has enabled us to love people by choice. We choose to love. Uh, and that's the kind of love that we need, a supernatural love, the love of God in our hearts, if we're going to love our enemies. Jesus says this in Luke chapter 6, 27 to 34. You can open your Bibles and read it. You can read it later. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also, for from, for from one who takes away your cloak, and from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you. And from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. We say, as do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? That's brotherly love. For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great in heaven. And you will be the sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful, even as your Father in heaven is merciful. Some very challenging words about love there. We can't live that way unless we ask God to fill us with his Holy Spirit. This is the way that God wants us to live. It is the way of blessing. It's the way of reward. It's a way that pleases our Heavenly Father. You know, when we get done with our life, the words that we want to see is, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. That are, that's my prayer. Not really worried about any real rewards except for that. The words of Jesus himself that says, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Father, we thank you for a new day, another beautiful day. We thank you for the beautiful August weather we've been having. It will be hot, but I pray that you'd help us to enjoy as We thank you for the crops that are growing for all the benefits that we received from the sunshine. We give you thanks for all of that. We thank you for the blessings upon our life, for how you poured down them upon us. We thank you that every good and perfect gift is from above, that comes down from the Father of the heavenly lights, in whom there is no variableness nor turning. We thank you, Lord, that every good and perfect gift that we have is from you. We thank you, and we thank you because we are not worthy we're not worthy of all the good things that you give us. We thank you for our church. We thank you for our, our family, for our wives and children. 
Uh, we thank you for our homes. We thank you for our jobs. We thank you for the opportunities that you give us to serve you. Lord, may you be pleased with our lives. May we live for you. May we bring glory to you in all that we do. It is our prayer. Uh, I pray today for Dick Gordon. He got a very good report from the doctor yesterday. So we thank you for what you're doing for Dick Gordon and for Sue. Pray for his healing from his cancer, from his prostate cancer, from his bladder cancer. May you just help him with that. I pray for healing. I pray for Steve and Angie Gordon, that you be with them and direct and lead them. I pray, Lord, for Pastor Paul, Pastor Steve at First Baptist Church in Oxygo. I ask for your blessing upon them and their family. I pray for our services on Sunday, Lord, that you would use the Word of God in our lives to change us, make us the children that you want us to be. We lift them up to you. We thank you for Friendship Bible Church. The church here in Hopkins, we ask God for your blessing on Pastor Chris, for the music, for the word of God as it goes forth on Sunday. May you uh, bless that church. Um, we pray for uh, Sue Johnson, who has some uh, knee surgery coming up very soon now. We pray for her. And I pray for uh, Pat Peak. He's going to have some heart surgery coming up. So we lift both of them up to you and pray for your health. I pray for my sister Sharon. I thank you, Lord, for the progress she's made. I thank you that she's still alive. I pray that you would provide for her what she needs and her, for her home care. May you help her to be able to be at home and be able to be taken well care of. I thank you for my, my, my niece, Carrie Childroth. Uh, she has an immune deficiency and she has COVID-19. I ask for healing of her body. She's been in the hospital. I ask for her healing so she might be able to come home. And be with her family. May you protect them all from COVID-19. Um, I pray for Don and Doris Luker. Pray for Doris Luker and all these problems she had with her vertebrae. Ask for your healing upon her. I ask now that you would bless us today. Uh, draw us near to you. May you go before us with your Holy Spirit. May you lead and direct us. We thank you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is in our life. We thank you for your word that says that in the word it says, Jesus said, I will be with you always, even unto the end of the age. For the word of God in Hebrews, it says, never will I leave you and never will I forsake you. And the Lord is my helper. I thank you, God, that indeed you are our helper and that indeed you are, um, you are everything that we need. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. And may the Lord make his face to shine down upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. And may the Lord give you his peace today.